What are you doing down there? What is that? Nothing. No, I hear something. What are you doing? Nothing. Are you recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Go ahead. Oh. Our stupid reactions. Tune in for the... Welcome back to our stupid reactions, idiots. I'm Corbin. <laughs> I'm Rick. And you can titillize us on our Instagrams and Twitter. Ooh. Is that better? Ooh. Is it, and following us, you can titillize us on our Instagram and Twitter <laughs> for more mm. juicy content if you titillize juicy. us. Mm. Yes. <laughs> also, but- call this number down below for free money. Uh, <laughs> see, don't. see, those of you who didn't skip the intro. You won't get free money. You didn't know about these. That's right, everyone. Snyder's of Hanover mustard pieces. Oh, I thought those were Big B's tasty nuts. They already had those. <laughs> and uh, today we are doing a movie review uh, because that's what we do on this channel. Yeah. And when we do one that you guys don't like, you don't like us anymore. Oh, well. Sorry about that. I know. Sorry about that. <laughs> but, you know, Can't like everybody, like videos say, we're just using India for views. We don't ever say anything negative about India or their content. Right, Rick? Go watch our dev talking review. About. <laughs> Anyways, um, today uh, we are reviewing... Oh, God, I can't even say the name of this film. Bull, which I believe means ghost. Um, no, Boot means ghost, because Vicky Kershaw had that ghost film, and it was called Boot. Anyways, uh, Bull, Bullia, Bull Bullia. I think that's pretty close to that, or Bull Bullia. And I believe I looked it up, and it means, like, labyrinth or maze. Oh. Uh, I believe that's what the, uh, title of it means. But it, and NRI and his wife, dis- what is an NRI? NRI. Yeah, you don't remember that? No, what was it? It's an Indian from America. Oh, gotcha. Sorry, I'm dumb. And NRI and his wife decide to stay uh, in his ancestral home, uh, paying no heed to the warnings about ghosts. Soon, inconceivable occurrences occur. Him to call a psychiatrist to help solve the mystery. Yes. And it's directed by... Your mom. <laughs> Yes. No. Uh, oh, that's why it won't work. Okay. Sorry. My screen was getting wonky there. Priyadashim? Priyadashim? Yes. Who Which, by the they? way, the, te- the technical uh, NRI is, a, they call a lot of Indians in America that. It just means non-resident Indian. Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember us learning about that. Okay. But it's directed by, can you say the director's name? If you have it up or do you not have it up? I do have it up. Uh, Pierre Dashan. And okay. uh, we've we've come across his name before, but he's done a lot of work. Like we've we've, uh, I think there's some some a lot of trailers of his that we've seen, but I'm I'm trying to recall what film of his maybe we've seen. He's done a lot. You know, you've seen uh, in the comedy scene with Akshay when he went like this. Remember that one? Uh, he directed yes. that film. We directed to gotcha. the, the comedy scene of that one. Uh, gotcha. But obviously, it's starring Akshay Kumar and Vidya. Uh, Balen, whom we know from uh, Kahani. Uh, yep. uh, but Akshay, it's surprising. When I thought about it the other day, I was like, and that's why I, we decided to watch uh, an Akshay film. We haven't seen very much, but it seems like we have, right? I know, because he's been the king of cheese. We've seen a lot of his music stuff, yeah. but we haven't seen a lot of his films. Outside of Kasari, I think that was one of the only other ones we saw, right? I think that was the first one we saw, and if I'm not, I don't think we've seen and it's maybe just, one other of his. Yeah, it's an overlook because I had, it just seems like we've watched a ton of him. <laughs> I know, which, because we have, it's just yeah. been in the of videos. Anyways, but, um, Rick, initial thoughts of the film? Uh, well, I am not a fan. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. I think... We might not be qualified to actually review this film because I think there was a ton of stuff that was lost in translation in terms of comedy. 
I think you're right. I think there was a ton. Um, because all I ever heard about this film was how hilarious it was. And I laughed uh, in a few parts, but I would never consider it one of the most hilarious films I've ever seen. That's not, at all. not I think, its fault because I think a lot was misconstrued in translation. Like, I looked up in some comments of our um, trailer reaction of it. And um, do you remember the line when uh, Akshay was trying to hear what that, guy, that kid's name was? And he kept saying Goti. Mm-hmm. He said Goti, Goti, Goti. Mm-hmm. But it just said Goti, right? That yeah. basically means balls. <laughs> See, that's funny, right? But we, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> we did we did not and I didn't get laugh that like that ever in the film. There wasn't a point in the laugh, and as well, like there was a point. I I uh, I sent a, a message to Indrani while I was watching it, and I said, "Is it should I be laughing whenever somebody gets so scared an adult says mommy?" Yeah. Um. So, and I was trying my best to say, okay, maybe. Think of this more like Three Stooges. Think of this more like the kind of comedy that you're, you know, don't don't put it in a uh, its own thing. Let it be its own thing. And may, she, and Johnny even said to me at one point, she said, "Think of it more like as Scooby Doo." Yeah. And I said, "Well, that yeah. doesn't that doesn't help me because I'm not a. I know you you're a fan of Scooby Doo. I don't like Scooby Doo. <laughs> um, so it that didn't help me. So yeah, yeah if, if if that's the case." And all of it got lost in translation for me because for me, it was laborious to sit. I wasn't laughing and I never got engaged with the story and I never got engaged with any performances. It was it was unfortunately for me, just I was forcing myself to keep watching, hoping for something that never materialized. Yeah. What about the end? Yeah, because I agree with you for the film, but the end was I loved the end. If the if the if, if the whole film was basically like when she was a, when she became crazy and like she was dressed right all crazy and mm-hmm. then she started to see what she sees and then what they see from yeah. there on i i was loving it i was like this is well, that whole sequence and song was amazing i love that whole song and that whole sequence. well that's that's something i want to point out is i did i'm looking here for um I, one of the messages i sent to Indra, indrani and that was uh I'm, uh, oh, I can't find it. Um, it's a, po- uh, uh, dog on it. Uh, oh yeah. The movie has gotten interesting. A Bengali dancer. Um, and I, I will say, I will say a, um, I did think all of the songs were really good. Yeah. Um, I, I thought all of the musical numbers and songs were really enjoyable. They were a lot of non sequiturs, like a lot of things that happen in a lot of the Indian films when the song comes in and it's just supposed to give you a break or an emotion. And I did like Vidya when she was the character full blown and at being the end, right? The, at the yeah, end. I that, liked Vidya in that. That's what I was talking um, about. From from that point yeah. on when she became that and then you saw what she saw and then you saw what we saw. Uh, or what uh, Akshay was seeing, like the two parallels yeah. and that whole song yeah. sequence and then the exorcism, basically, almost. I thought that whole sequence from th- that point on until the end, I loved it. And I was like, this is yeah, fantastic. From- and this is like my – I'm actually engaged in this film. The rest of the film, like I was saying, I'm not sure if we can be qualified to do it, which is why sometimes I'm very hesitant to watch comedies in another language because comedy is so difficult – and it's so subjective, but to translate it from one language into a completely different language and expect that audience to still get all the jokes, even in, especially when they're not even doing translations, they're just telling us goti. If they would have said, like, if we would have known goti meant balls, obviously that would have been much funnier. Yeah. <laughs> Go to balls? Your name is balls? What? <laughs> and so, like, and there was, I'm, I think, a ton of points like that. And then there was a few Akshay parts where I, I actually laughed. I mean, I wasn't like busting my gut laughing, but like when he was like, uh, when he just looked over and he said, I saw it, <laughs> I thought that was funny. <laughs> I was like, I don't know why, I just, that made me laugh. And then when he was crawling on the ground, um, oh no, no, when he was, uh, somebody came out of the door and then he, and then he was just looking on the ground, right? And then he just said, where is it? <laughs> I don't know why. That yeah. Just, that made me laugh a lot. Uh, but that was like those were like the only two parts because that's 
it was almost like physical comedy, so I could understand it, right? Uh, mm-hmm. The rest of it, I think, is cultural stuff that completely went over my head. And it, it was like like you were saying, it, it just dragged on at times uh, because I was like, I was told this is like a hilarious movie. And I'm not seeing any of it. I don't even see where they're supposed to be funny in a lot of these parts. No. Um, Which I, I don't know how much of that is is what you're referring to because it very well could be because there are comedies we've seen that we laughed and loved mm-hmm. um even the most recent one being which i think is of this genre which i'm not entirely certain at times i felt like this thing was genre confused oh, yeah. I, I, I didn't think it what it was a lot of the time uh but like stree I, I was i was expecting since i knew going into this from the trailer that this was going to be comedy horror the yeah. last thing we watched that was of that genre was was Street, which we loved yeah, and yeah, yeah. La- loud at in multiple multiple spots. Grant, uh, grant, granted, that is newer um, and and shorter, uh, so that helped, I think, because that was like an hour forty five, I believe Street was, and this was almost two and a half hours. Uh, yeah, and so that I think that helps. This was made in two thousand seven, um, and so that it just seemed even more dated because I, I agree with you at times it almost seemed like uh devdos style of over dramaticness at times and in certain scenes when like they were crying uh mm-hmm. and then at other times it was i actually like i agree with you though in the songs i think one of the songs when they were on top of the 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 cars you could guys can tell me if I'm wrong, but it almost seemed like he was making fun of like SRK songs a little bit. The one where he and the guy are on the top of the thing yeah. with all of the Yeah. If that's what he was doing, I thought it was kind of funny. Uh, I was like, I, I think I think I know what he's doing. If he's not, you can let me know. Uh, that's just what I thought he was uh, they were doing with this. I was like, he's putting his hands up, but he's being really over dramatic, uh, cheesy Akshay in it. Um, and so there's that, but yeah, the, the the rest of the film, it was just, I like I said, I don't even know if I can be qualified to review this, because every Indian we talked to was like, hilarious movie, one of my favorites, one of Akshay's best, so clearly we are missing something, and I think it was in translation. Uh, yeah, I don't... That's hard for me because we haven't had an entire film get lost in translation for us before. Um, and I just, there well, were we so many. Ha- we haven't watched a lot of comedies either, though. True. But of the ones we've seen, um, I, we, haven't, we haven't had what, we haven't felt like an entire film was lost in translation. And, I don't, and this film isn't, in an, isn't comedy in its entirety. It has very long segments where there's nothing funny going on, but I, I still found myself not not very much engaged. Uh, I, I also was surprised. Uh, did you find yourself wondering where Akshay was? Because he doesn't show up until you're an hour into the film. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I did, I did think that um, maybe we just came in with too many expectations of... May- <laughs> If you're t- if you're told something is supposed to be the h- most hilarious movie, that sets really high expectations because that's all I heard. Oh. And then also, if you think is like you're told it's Akshay, and then you're just waiting for Akshay, and you're still waiting for Akshay, and you're still waiting for Akshay, <laughs> and it's an hour into the film, and you're like, oh, oh, okay, okay, he's here. I thought we were, I thought we were done. So the, yeah, it, I agree. The film did drag on for me. Um, I think it could have been really, really good. One, if I understood the comedy, but um, also was like an hour and a half. Because I think you could have, the, the, the pre-story before Akshay got there, I think could have mm-hmm. been reduced to 10 minutes. Uh, in terms oh. of, you, you, could have caught, Easy. you could have caught me up really fast with, okay, Easy. this is a haunted house, blah, blah, blah. We're bringing in a psychiatrist to uh, figure out this whole solution. Almost like a clue type, uh, whodunit uh, type house thing. Um, and so it, it, it could have been that short um, in terms of the, the opening credits. But, yeah, it's it, – it, I don't want to rag on it, too. It's not my favorite, I can tell you that, guys. Um, yeah, I, and, and I, don't, I don't mind. I mean, it's my – we're both entitled to our honest opinions. Yeah. And my honest opinion was I did not like it. It's one of my least favorite of the stuff we've watched. I wanted to like it. 
I really like Akshay. I really like Vidya. Um, I, I was really rooting for it, and I was trying my best to find stuff in it that I was enjoying. Like, for example, I li I did like the music, but it was as it it, it just I it never. And granted, I absolutely agree there may be some things in there, a, a whole bunch of them that we didn't get that were lost in translation. That absolutely can happen. I just don't know that the entirety of the film can be relegated to that versus I just found the majority of the time I was bored and not engaged with it. Yeah. Until the, like I said, until the very end, the, the last part when, when she did the dance and she became all crazy. That was phenomenal. Vidya did an amazing job there. I, uh, I love Phenomenal? That. Oh yeah, I, I I was fully engaged at that part. I was fully okay. engaged. Um, I w but I'm not, Rick. I'm not. I'm not saying it was Oscar, but I think for what she was trying to do there, I think she was really, really good. The rest of the film, no, uh, <laughs> not at all. Uh, <laughs> but I think some of the jokes we also missed were also Hindu related or religion related. And they could, also could very well be. Oh, I guarantee there were some references that we didn't pick up in that regard for sure. Yeah, Absolutely. A hundred percent. So it, guys, uh, and it, a very good comparison that I think is probably, probably fair, which is why I would simply just say, I don't like the movie, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to say that this is a bad director and these are bad actors. And, and I'm not going to say any of that in the same way. I think, if somebody were to be introduced to one of their first American comedies and they were to watch Napoleon Dynamite, <laughs> I think they could sit through it and look at it and go, what? <laughs> Where a lot of us, a lot of us would say, we love that movie and think it's hysterical. And they'd be like, why do you find that funny? I was like, well, I guess you'd have to understand some of the nuances that they're dealing with. And like when you're at a high school prom, this is what it's like. So I, I absolutely would give it that. And I'd be more than willing to revisit this in a few years when we're more educated about these things and might have a completely different opinion about it. Yeah. For sure. It's yeah. possible. So guys, yeah. Be, be kind yes. to us. We you know we don't Yeah, please be <laughs> You know we don't we want to give you our honest opinion, but sometimes when you call we, us, we, you in the comments you're like you it. you mutter chot, yeah, I hate you so much, I'm gonna murder you. Yeah. <laughs> We want to give you our honest opinion. So that's our honest opinion, and we're sorry. But let us know the next Akshay film we should watch, because we, we love Akshay. You know we love Akshay. But, and, uh, but I want to see, is it, I, I know Special 26 is high on the list for a lot of people. I think that's an action thriller. Um, there's, uh, which other ones are there? Um, I can't remember. You can let us know. I I did a poll. This is this in special twenty six were at the top of the poll. So it shows you how much okay. people, people well, really, yeah. really like this film. This name all the time, getting messages all the time about this for all for, so for all of you stupid babies who were so looking forward to us watching this and it, and we didn't it didn't register with us. Sorry, we're really sorry, but we're never gonna lie to you. We're never gonna be dishonest. <laughs> Anyways, but uh, let us know what film we should watch and review next down below. Also, for all you Malaliums, we know this is a remake of a Malalium film. Because I know that. Yeah, I, I do know that. And I also know, I want to know if, it, uh, boy, I don't know if it was, you know, waxing or shaving, but Akshay was hairless. Oh, yeah, he was. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> oh, I did. Like, that was the, it's like he took his shirt off and like, oh, wow, what? What happened to Akshay? Where did where did where did Akshay go? Uh, anyways, well, let us know what we should watch and review next down below. Our stupid reactions. Tune in for.